Give me John 8 and 32. Sure. That white man can't teach you nothing. And that's the problem with our people today because when they see him, they see this image right here and they try to say, oh, he must be God. He's not God. Read that. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So what you're finding out today, brother, is the truth is in this Bible. Everything that's been espoused to you has been the truth. That's why we come out here, because our people don't have anybody telling them the truth. Our people don't have anybody showing them how to live and what to do, right? So you got some sins on you. have been listening to the word. I want to bring a sin out that you're dealing with before you decide to walk away. Give me uh, Le uh, Leviticus 19. Give me tattoos. Because you have been branding your body. You even got it on your face, brother. That is not our custom. Not at all. So we got to cast that thing down so you can be righteous. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28. Uh -huh. He shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. You see that, brother? Rest in peace, grandma. Rest in peace, dad. That is not what we're supposed to be doing. God gave us any instructions. Read that again from the top. Verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Your God told you don't do that. So from this day forward, if you decide to go in that tattoo parlor and get another one, you done been marked, brother. That is a sin according to this Bible. You understand that? You understand? That? So, give me John 3 and 3. Okay, so since I didn't know that, I don't got no sin. No, because since you didn't know that before today, you can repent of that, right? So but then don't get no more after. So what about what you do know? What you do is repent. Well, he's, saying, he's saying like, he's saying like, what if, what if you do know before what you do? Right, read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Meaning, bro, you listen? Meaning, if you sin willfully, right? After you knowing this understanding, after standing before us today, right, and you seeing Christ's life is not for you, bro. You pay, his blood is not. I'm telling you, answer this question. Uh, okay, read that again from the top. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26. Uh -huh. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins meaning Christ's, Christ's life, right, while he was here, he died for our sins, right, to cleanse us, of, of, cleanse us of our mistakes. So after hearing this, if you walk back into that parlor, right, that means you don't care nothing about the blood of Christ. His life meant nothing to you. And on the day of judgment, you will receive death. You understand that? And, right. uh, so, okay, we go. Verse 29, verse 28, he that despised Moses' law, Die without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall be thought worthy who have trodden underfoot the Son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and have done despite unto the Spirit of grace. So when Moses was here, he had us killing animals. They were sacrificing animals for the things that we did wrong to remove our sins. But when Christ came, his blood is what removed our sins. You understand that? You got another question? Okay. So, so, so as of today, bro, what you got to do is kick out all the wisdom of this world, right? This world has not taught you anything about who you are and what you should do. Give me John 3 and 3. You got to kick out everything that you done learned and come back to what this Bible is saying to do. Read that. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 3. All right. Jesus answered and said unto him. Who? Jesus answered and said unto him. We read in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Read. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So the wisdom of this world is going to keep you from seeing the, 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 the true uh, kingdom of God, right? If you continue to walk in these ways, that's what's going, going to keep you with death. It's going to put you with sin, put you in the midst of sin, right? So when we die, so when we die, when we ain't we, we repented, what happens? You're going to get death, brother. You're going to get death. Yep, give me that. Because sin... So is it an afterlife after this shit, though? You better know it is. 
but not in sin it's not not living the ways of this world it's not not for those that haven't repented right so, so so if i if i start getting into the bible and start doing everything that the bible tells me to do i'm gonna go to heaven you got you got eternal life brother and you got to be careful because you got to you got to line up with the scriptures. You got to do what this Bible say in its entirety now. Everything that he tells us to do after you repent, you got to keep away from those things that you gave over to the world. Those things that you did every day that was not according to this Bible. Right? Well, I, can't, and, I can't get out here and make no money. Yeah, you can work. Spinning? Yeah, you can work. But you, what you gonna do, sell drugs to do it? That's not of God, you understand? You gonna be still smoking, you gonna drink, you gonna be drunk before noon, that's not of God. I don't drink I got cigarettes, but I do sell dope. That's the problem, brother. Why, why, why in the world would you would you think that you can destroy your own people and still have the kingdom of heaven waiting on you? That makes no sense, read that. The book of First John, chapter three, verse 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever, Hate of his brother is a murderer. You hear that, brother? Selling drugs to your people, you murdering them. That's hatred. You killing them, brothers. Instead of showing them, instead of walking righteously, and then teaching them that that's not good for them. You know what I'm saying? Bring it out. And ye know that no murderer, no what? No murderer, no what? No murderer has eternal life abiding in him there's no life after that brother there's death for you Bring it out. There's, there's death for you that is a sin killing your brothers hating your brothers right that's why we are here to try to bring and unite the children of israel back to who they are those people on this so, side so, so, so if, if you're saying if i murder somebody black i'm not going to heaven but i can go out here and murder somebody white and i'm gonna go to heaven you ain't supposed to be killing anybody, brother. The Bible says be at peace with all men, right? You understand that? But, you know what I'm saying? You first gotta, you first gotta understand what this book is saying, brother. You asking some deep questions. Read it. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. You see that? So over here, that's what we teach you. Our brothers don't go out. We don't harm nobody. You know what I'm saying? All we do is bring this Bible out and teach our people and correct them. Right? So give me Leviticus real quick. Give me Leviticus 19. Because our people are destroyed in their thinking. Everything they think of has always been wrong. Since we got on them boats, we got off them boats. Everything we learned has been wrong. Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So what you don't know is who your brother is, right? Your neighbor ain't just saying somebody that's sitting next, that lives next door to you or somebody that's standing next to you. The Bible is giving you the, the definition of who your brother is and who your neighbor is. Read that again for your time. Verse 17, uh -huh. thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So you got to live a lifestyle where you able to show your people by the way you walk. By the way, by your actions is what teaches people as well. So if you selling dope to your people, if you killing people, how you gonna be able to correct a child that's, that's asking for a man to teach him the righteous way? You cannot. Your ways gotta be righteous. Your thoughts gotta be righteous. Your steps gotta be righteous in order to teach God's people who they are. Because you will not come half foot. You can't have one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. Right. That's not what's gonna happen. Read on. And not suffer sin upon him, brother. So not suffer sin upon him. Like your brother, he went over to the store and bought on the Sabbath. Did you know this was the Sabbath day? That's a sin according to the Bible. You were supposed to pull him to the side and say, bro, not today. And did he go buy some liquor? Some, uh, liquor? Was that, was that a, 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 a beer? You know what I'm saying? What time is it? That's what I'm saying. You were supposed to correct your brother immediately. That's how you teach your brother who he is and not suffer sin upon him and rebuke him. I do though, I do, I do tell him that ain't cool, but he still do what he do though. I can't stop that next man from doing what he did. But have you showed him a lifestyle where he can look at you and say you blameless? Because if you haven't, yeah. he ain't he ain't gonna look. Bro, you just got you got tattoos on. You know what I'm saying? You ain't living a lifestyle that's blameless. First you gotta learn this Bible. Then you can teach him how to be blameless. So, He's so not gonna you, listen so, to so, you. So, Give me John now. So y'all blameless. Give me, give me John. Bro, we all fall short, right? He got tattoos. He, he done repented from that. He ain't gonna get another one because he feared the most high. 
Give me that. Give me, give me John 9 and 31 real quick. Read. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Listen up, bro. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. God heareth not who? God heareth not sinners. So you can do whatever you want to do. God heareth not sinners. You hear that, brother? The Most High God don't hear sinners. So ch the children of God is not going to listen to you either, except for to do evil. You teaching people falsely, right, by being a sinner. He ain't supposed to listen to you. You ain't doing nothing no different than him, even though y'all brothers. There's no change in you. They got to be changed first. Three days. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. You don't know this Bible. You don't know the Most High God. You don't know your Father in heaven. Read. They are sottish children. They are what? They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. So, brother, that's the problem. Our people are destroyed because they don't know. They don't know what to do. That's why your brother keep doing what he's doing. But if you're going to be his big brother, you're going to show him something, right? You're going to walk first the way that this Bible is saying, right? You're going to walk first what this Bible is saying. Read. They are wise to do evil. They are wise to do what? They are wise to do evil. Give me Isaiah 5, 2. Brother, brother, our people are wise to do evil. We do everything the wrong way. The white man taught us that. Watch this. This is the repercussions though, right? This is the repercussions of being a sinner. Bro, you all right? But you got that pop on you. That's the reason why he owned you. I got no pop. That pop was on was was attracting him though. The sugar in that pop. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter five and verse twenty. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. See that? So selling drugs, getting tattoos. You ain't gonna be able to teach nobody doing those things. Read. That put darkness for light, and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. So, unless you walk in like Christ showed us in his Bible, you put bitter for sweet. You making evil good and good evil, right? You know what I'm saying? Side as children, don't know anything. But that's why we're in a destroyed state. That's the reason why you don't have a lot of understanding when it comes to things. That's when, that's the reason why when a white man walk up, we gonna listen to him, right? So you gotta subdue everything that you've been doing, bro. Give me Proverbs 3 and 5. We'll jump back to 5 and uh, uh, 14. Right? Uh, give me that, bro. The book, the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. So, bro, bro, the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart, right? That's what's going to change you. That's what's going to correct you. You know what I'm saying? Don't get distracted by other things going on, bro. This is the only thing that matters today. You ain't going to hear nothing else that's going to be good for your spirit, for your soul, that's going to correct you and teach you anything, right? Read that again from the top. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. So the understanding must come from this Bible. Psalms 19 and 7. The understanding must come from this Bible. Without this, brother, we are dead people. We're going to remain in a low state. We're going to be going to every church, every denomination, every you know what, every religion, every foolishness that's been given to us, right? We're going to keep falling victim to that thing. Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. But the Bible has an answer. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So the laws of God is what's going to change us, right? You can't just do good to people and think, oh, I'm going to get in the kingdom of heaven after that. It's more than that. He said the laws of the Lord. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting the soul. Doing what? Converting the soul. Huh? The testimony of the Lord is sure. Uh, doing what? Making wise. Making what? Making wise. The what? The simple. So if you want to stop being simple, bro, you need to call that number on the flyer if you got one. Get with us, right? And start keeping the laws of God. Because you can't do it by yourself. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 4. Give me verse 5. Uh, let me get it. Let me get it. Thanks, I'm calling. Yeah, we're we going to give you one, bro. Still listen up, though. We ain't done with you. Deuteronomy 4, start at 5, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, 
chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes. I have taught you what? Statutes. The Most High God didn't give us religion, bro. He didn't give us these buildings that you see with these so-called idols on them. That's right. He didn't give us those things to go in there and learn. They ain't taught us nothing. That's right. It's a whole bunch of them all, all across the world. What's changed for our people after that? Nothing. Not nothing. We got to come back to what this Bible is truly saying. Read. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, uh -huh. even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land where the ye go to possess it. So right here where we where we supposed to learn to keep the law, statutes, and commandments and come back to be a righteous nation like they brought it in Deuteronomy. We the greatest people on this planet, but we got to start living and acting that way. You understand that? It's very important because without that, your children keep being niggas. Your women keep being whores, right? We keep on teaching brothers to be drunk. You know what I'm saying? We, we keep killing each other. We keep not showing love to one another. Without these laws, statutes, and commandments which the Most High gave us, we are nothing as a people when we lower ourselves, lower ourselves right with the lowest grade of people that like the man that just walked up here. You understand that? Read on. Keep therefore and do them. No, no, no. Keep therefore and do what the world taught us. Keep therefore and do them. You gotta do these laws, statutes, and commands. You understand? Shalom, this is I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.